Hello, welcome to Movie Manual. It's yet another Saturday and I'm very excited. But before I go any further, I would like to thank God for the gift of life. I'd like to thank God that we are here, we are well, we are alive. And no kubuda abudava ganda bafaba siramu, bamazok celebrating idiawe. And also, guys, COVID is real. COVID is real as in the real sense of the word, don't joke. The katukume SOPs, let's sanitize, let's wear our masks. And if you don't have to come to town, please do not stay home. So that we are all good and be happy and as a family. People who have lost their loved ones, their family members, their friends due to COVID. Now, on a more lighter note, guys, I'm very excited. I have a sister, a friend. She's not a friend. She's more than a friend. She's a sister from another mother. <laughs> She's Daphne Ampire. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you said it well. <laughs> yes. Uh, she's an actor. She's a producer. She's a director. She's a screenwriter. Guys, she's an award-winning scriptwriter. <laughs> she's a businesswoman managing Faso Hotel. She's known for her roles in movies like Okay, the series Hostel, uh, 27 Guns, Nsiwe, November Tia, and the leading TV series in Uganda right now, Sanyu. She did not just, by the way, guys, she wrote Sanyu. She is the brain behind Sanyu. Everything Chemula wa Sanyu. And she's also acting in Sanyu. She's going to tell us exactly what she's doing, who she's acting as. And, you know, welcome to the show, Daph. Thank you, Agi. How are you? How so have excited you been? To be I know here. we can't hug you. Know. I know, I know, I know. Air hug, air <laughs> hug. <laughs> How are you? Have you been? I've been very good. You I've threw me out, well. huh? I want to go from a saint to people. <laughs> Just <laughs> 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 COVID. But how are you? Have you been? How has God kept We've you? We've been well. I thank God I've been well. God has kept us. We're working through the pandemic. But We're trying to keep as safe as possible. That's my, now that's going to be my mm. first question. How are you working mm. in this pandemic? Um, oh, on the writing side, mm. uh, anyway, it doesn't stop you from writing. Yeah, you can. If stop anything, it writing. gives you more time. Exactly, because you can always do the internet calls back and forth. Mm. Yeah, but with the acting, it has been a bit tricky. We had to get a lot of permissions <laughs> and use people's cars to I know. ferry people to different places. But it's working. Mm. They must be working. Where money is? Eh? <laughs> Where money beats? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> but anyway, I know you. I have known you for quite some time now. These people don't know you. Who are you? Mm. What are you working on? <coughs> what have you worked mm. on? What are you doing? Mm. All those what's, what's, what's. Please tell us exactly oh. what are you working on right now? What have you worked on? Yeah. What do you intend to work on? Yeah. Uh, so right now we're working on Sanyu. I keep saying we because yeah. the, the writing team will kill me if I just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we are five writers and an editor. Oh. Um, so I'm among the writers. Uh, so uh, together we produce a show called Sanyu. And I also, right now I'm also, so right now I'm strictly writing and acting on the series called Sanyu. Yeah, that's it. But in my other time, mm. I, I do businesses and <sighs> and producing. <laughs> okay, I know you write, like mm. you already told us you write, but mm. what do you like most about writing? Mm. Or I mean, the, uh, let me not talk about the writing bit. Okay. What do you like most about acting and what do you not like about acting? <sighs> I, I love just walking in other people's shoes and because uh, our, our work as writers, we don't talk much. Everything is, you know, yeah. you're thinking. Mm -hmm. So I, I love the activity. I love the dress up. I mm -hmm. love just being silly. To me, it's like playing. Uh, what I don't like about it, though, mm. is sometimes the roles you're given. <laughs> sometimes people stereotype you. Uh, like right now, I'm doing a role called, uh, the character's name is Pesh. Mm. And Who's she's, Pesh, Pesh is, uh, is a side chick. Uh, with all the side chickness that you can imagine. <laughs> and you, and you pulled it off, huh? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Hey. And me, I find it entertaining and fun, and I'm like, mm, I should try that. Mm, I, I, mm, wow. Okay. Let me let me do that too. That that could be interesting. Mm. So sometimes people imagine that you are what you're acting, and I'm that's like, that's a bad thing. Exactly. Don't confuse my ability for my character. So, yeah. So that's, that's what I don't like about it, though. Uh, so mm. so uh, uh, were you uh, approached as an actor or as a writer, in, as when we're talking about Sanyu? Uh, <laughs> I, I was approached as a writer, uh, but when, when I saw the character come up, I neneyogera ko mangu. No, it doesn't work like that. Um, you all go through the audition process, mm. and uh, honestly, <laughs> by God's <laughs> grace, my audition tape was picked out. And, That's nice. Um, and they said, okay, we know she's a writer, but this is good too. So oh. it was very rare. They and and then the, because some other people would think mm. if she's going to be writing and then she's going to be acting, mm. she might mess up along the way. So how I have, are you able to, to mm. pull these two different roles yeah. at the same time and yeah. perfect? Uh, there is no two ways about it. You have to work for it. You have to work for the things that you want. Mm. Um, and also be extremely communicative. You can tell the writers, guys, please, Today I'm away, I'm on set, help me out with this and that in case it's my turn to do something. And also with the acting team, you have to be very open and transparent. So it's, it's been tough. It must it's have been, been. Yeah, it's been a bit of hard work, honestly. So, uh, so when you're mm. working like five people doing the same series, mm. as in what happens? Do you like choose, I'm going to write <laughs> the first episode? Mm. How does it work? Exactly. Um, with us, ev every team has its own process. Uh, us, you, we write per episode. Some people write per character. We think that's too lengthy. I think mm. even per character, she might not connect mm. to Runji. I think it makes a lot of sense mm. if Duff is writing the whole episode, yeah. then she's dealing yeah. with all the characters. That means herself. all of you need to be in sync with who the characters are. They're like, this is how this character talks. This is how Agi talks. This is how Duffy talks. Take episode one. I'll take mm. episode two. Like that. Like that. Mm. Wow. Because I was, I was, I was like, don't they? Don't you guys like? Uh, like, temera, 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 along the way, like course, someone feels like. Yeah, of course, be bao, but that's where you have the editor. Because mm. I have been, I have been part of a series mm. that uh, had about six or mm. five or six mm. writers, mm. and every time they would have to first write mm. and then send it to the producers mm. to look through, mm. and then the producers would think, ah ah, wanate, mm. then mm. they would have to change it. Mm. And, and then it, I think it's a, like, a, like a, a whole lot of work. Mm, uh, it is a repeated process. Uh, usually mm. we have about three to four to five, if sometimes to six drafts mm. before you get the last script that the people are shooting. Mm. So it's, it's, a, it's a conversation between the writer and the editor constantly. It's I write, he edits, I write again, he edits again, I write again, you know, like so sometimes then finally you read through you're like, mm, change this, do this. Mm. You know, everybody gives you their comments. You go back, noted as a script here. No more no is an editor. So it's a bit of a back and forth. Nature yamba, chiamba gwe, chiamba yoraiting. It's not a joke. So you 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 played a lead role in the movie November Tia. Yes, I did. Tell me, how did you prepare for that? character uh, uh i had to cut my hair <laughs> that one i <laughs> saw and I, was like, and I was like okay and i was like oh lord <laughs> <laughs> and i know <laughs> i have read about you and hair yeah. so i was like okay <laughs> i do love my hair um I, I think i also started really taking interest in 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 the western uganda culture a lot uh, i'm in chica but i had to understand Runyankore. i had to understand very strong richiga words mm -hmm. yeah um I, I don't know if my preparation was as good as it should be for an actress but I always no. I, I I didn't think you you, you spoke like the right Munyankore. No, it it wasn't. It was bad. I was like <laughs> for the real Munyankore. It was, was like, bad. I was like <laughs> no, can't. Like, you cross, you cross. You just should just call it Because I don't practice as much. Yeah, you don't speak it a lot. I know, not really. But do you even speak Ruchiga? Yes, I do. So for it, you would have been perfect. Ruchiga and Runyankore are a bit similar. Yeah, I wouldn't have been perfect though. Eh? Mm, I think I mostly speak Ruchiga with my dad. Everyone else. So is. other than other than you trying to to mm. to get some some words right and mm. all that, how how else did you prepare? 
Uh, to be honest, um, it was a lot of dialogue and just understanding what my dialogue was about mm. and trying to become this character, this naive, you know, you put down all your crowns, as the Bible says, that you know what? Zendirite, you know, chijao. Zesambala, you know, chijao. You know, you know, you know, you ever cut at one point. I used to, I used to, by the way, as a teenager. Yeah, but I, I, in this movie, did you at any one point? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I tried to write it and that didn't work out. So, <laughs> so you had said, to... let's not embarrass each other. <laughs> Can can be I know. <laughs> so did you get like, because uh, some people when they're given, I don't know, how much did you prepare for this role, by the way? Quite a lot. Maybe two or three months. Oh. Mm, two or three months. That's, that's some good time. Because I had because the uh, script with you, me you, for During your month. preparation time, did you get like an Aggie mm. to help you with a few things or you are doing it on your own? And argue what you mean. What I mean is, for example, that when you word, some of these things, yeah. or how you actually, because you grew up in Kampala, and this mm. was supposed to be some village girl mm. from some village I don't know. Mm. So, did you get how did you like at one point move and no. stay? Yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. I, I, so. I did not, although uh, we do have a veteran called Raymond Rishavero, mm. he was acting as my dad, yes. so I would constantly ask him, uh -huh, How am I supposed to say this thing properly? And he would explain to me the different things. So mm. depending on what we were given as the actors to use as props, like our home. Mm. And I've been to the village many times, many times. So it, it was not something that sort of came out of the blue. Uh, I'm more of, I see, I do. Monkey mm. see, monkey do. I, mm. I easily do whatever it is I see. Mm. So I would watch a lot of things. And I would just try to remember, you know, the way they would do things in the village. And i say, hey, this is how they would uh, And I also try to do the same. Although Oksa, it couldn't be perfect. You know those uh -huh. I know, because I can imagine yeah. having grown up in the city mm. and lived in all these posh places <laughs> you've lived. But guy, you know, kube. Yeah, I can, because I, yeah. I grew up in the village. But yeah. for you, I was like, ah, okay, okay. But, but I liked it. it but was, you did, you did great, by the way. For someone like you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, did, did, you did what you had to do. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> grateful for that. So uh, I know it's yeah. not the, the only role you've played. Mm. I know you've played quite a, a cup role. Yeah. But of all these roles you've played, mm. which one of them was so, were you so afraid of or by, intimidated by this? character or role mm. and how did you overcome it uh, honestly it, it it has to be november tier other roles are comfortable pear she's a city girl she wears a lot of makeup talks smug you know all these other characters uh, are people i i feel like i have known down the street mm. but anenda anenda was oh my god these girls you even you know like you're going to the village and someone waves back to you or something like that so i i really had to, to humble myself mentally, emotionally, especially, mm. and to just say, who is this girl? You know, I had to ask, I had to tear Anenda apart mm. and see how I can fit Daphne into this character. I think that's yeah. what's supposed to be done. Mm. So, uh, so after you, you read the script, you understood mm. who Anenda was, and mm. then you're like... Yeah, I, I love the premise of the story. I loved that she was she was strong and she was silly. She was a child, but she managed to to do something that even adults. And she was just a daddy's do. girl, yes. Yes, she was. Mm, nice. <laughs> Why are you smiling? No, because because yeah, that one worked for you quite fine. I'm thinking. Yes, it uh, did. Is, you were just ah, being a daddy's girl. <laughs> Yes, so um, now I'm going to uh, shift a little bit from the, the acting to the script writing. Mm. So as a script writer, what has been your biggest disappointment for all the time you've been writing? Uh, there are many. <laughs> okay, the biggest. Um, I, I would begin with myself. Sometimes okay. I get very disappointed in myself because... Uh, especially when you read big Hollywood scripts mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm not there yet. And the amount of knowledge that we are working with is experiential knowledge. It's um, people working with instruments on how to construct literally a script. And for you, all you have is, I have a story. These are the words. This is what I'm going to put together. Pa, pa, pa. And we feel, um, I've worked with some guys from Nairobi before and I failed flat according to their standard, 
yet. So one of them even asked me, how did you win Best Writer? If <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. But they were like, no, it, it, it means you have natural talent, but the technical is missing. So for me, that really disappoints me. And I feel like our writers are not given the tools that they need to be better writers. I feel like people take writing for granted. Anything goes. And we're like, guys, it all begins with the story. If you don't have a firm story, you have nothing. So that's why you see some shows fall flat on their faces, because mm, you find that the First season yeah, and then the they've taken care of the cameras, the actors that have gotten the best, mm. the clothes are on point, the makeup, everything is good. But the story. And the story. Someone opens their mouth for the, you know, the very first line in the, in the script and you're like, okay, let's just, let's just wait and see how this will go. So I, I, I find that I wish we could focus the writers so much and make it a point that I'm not going to shoot anything that is not scripted. Yeah, now that you're talking about the script bit of it, mm. uh, tell, tell us about your award. Mm. The um, best, I mean, how did it come about and as in what did you, what did yeah. you do that made yeah. you win that? Yeah, um, uh, was it 2019? Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in 2019, um, our amazing Eleanor Nawiso, mm. who is now the producer of Sanyu, uh, doing very well with her husband, uh, approached me and a couple of other people, some ladies in film, mm. and she had an idea to write Bed of Thorns, and she wanted to base so much on domestic violence and abuse of women, so they came up with many scenarios and together we were supposed to write and you know so we took i took it from there i said okay well, but we were doing it pro bono we thought ah oh, it's a good challenge let's all work together let's mm. let's be women you know <laughs> 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 I, I i hear you yes pro bono. i hear you on that one um so we wrote the script i kept sharing eleanor kept giving me some you know edits back change this do this da da and i said okay great and we submitted it and they shot the film. And funny enough, when the film came out, people loved it. They, they, they were entertained, they were amazed. And we ended up winning awards of it. Yes, <laughs> Even me, I myself, know. I won you know, a few and awards uh, of it. And that was really exciting. That Must was have really been. great. Yeah. So, uh, so the money. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't pro bono. <laughs> that was <laughs> them. That no. wasn't pro bono. No, that was my Yeah, that but. Mm. Okay, when, when you are approached, mm. okay, let's say I'm a producer or I'm a director mm. and I've approached you, I, I, I have my story. Okay, yeah. I, I don't even have a story yet, but yes. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, doing a movie. Yes. I can, I can give you a topic, for example, I can tell you, mm. okay, domestic violence. Mm. And then I come to you. What mm. is the first thing you think about or comes to your mind when, when someone tells you, I want you to write about something mm. like this? What do you do? What's the first thing you do? I start thinking, what's his vision? Or what's her vision? Because I don't want to write me. Mm. I want to write for you. Mm. So I need to understand what your vision is. I may have a vision, but it will probably, I'll just probably guide you on how to put your vision to paper. Yeah, so that's the first thing that I'll ask myself. Okay, so you, you, don't, you don't usually contribute to these stories? Um, Can't I come and I'm like, okay, mm, this is what I want, but mm, then, and then you're like, uh, mm. it, it, it depends because, on... Because, wait, wait, help mm, me understand. Mm, so when someone comes to you, mm, do they come with something already written and you're supposed to make it right? Or uh, it doesn't have to be written. Uh, it's, it's, it's respect It can of, just be an yeah, idea. It's respect of people's ideas. Uh, I have to respect your idea. That's why you say, I try to understand what's your vision. And I imagine that you're calling me to your team and you're the team leader. Mm. So I, I try to understand why does she want me to write about domestic violence? Does she want to tell a personal story? And oh. then I can put my words to it, but it will never be my story. Unless you come with just a bold idea and maybe I have a story. And I say, what do you think about this story? Can we use it to tell the message that you want? Oh, mm. and, then, and, then, and then the budget? Mm. <laughs> there do you we talk. Do, do you know do you like decide this is how much it's gonna be there and then or it's until because mm. i'm thinking mm. for a movie it's different from a, yes. a tv series yes, because, because of the length of the, yes, the whole thing yeah. so uh I, i'm not going to ask you how mm. much but i'm thinking <laughs> do you charge per episode you write 
Uh, or if it's a movie, do you just agree on the amount there and then? And then you're like, for this, mm. this is how much. As in, do you have like mm. a, I don't know, is it called a price list? I, I do have a price list, but uh, I also have a <laughs> one <laughs> I know. So, adjustable. Yes, it's very adjustable, uh, depending on the circumstance, really. Um, and I, I try not to behave too professionally such that I can't reach everybody mm. but I in normal circumstances I'll, I will show you my price list and say this is what I normally charge but what do you have let's stop okay what's your budget like those things no you have to come <laughs> <laughs> if you have a story then we will talk <laughs> no, as, no I'm saying that mm. so you will ask me what's your budget exactly. and then and then and you see if you can fit in exactly. have you turned down any jobs be it for yeah. acting mm. or or for script yes. writing? Yes, actually, very recently. Um, it was very sad. Story, I remember and it was a beautiful story. Very beautiful, but I couldn't write it. because. Or even writing? Mm. You could just write. No. It's about writing anyway. No, you don't you see, act. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you, you have put a vision to paper that that vision will be carried to screen. So it's your fault. Oh, so yeah. you just said no. Yeah. And you I gave your reasons no. why. Yeah. And that was for writing. That was for writing. Have you turned down any acting gigs? Yes. As well. Why? Which <laughs> one? Am I allowed to ask which ones? Um, no. Okay, why? <laughs> well, again, um, it, it's the nature of the work that we sometimes have to do. Um, maybe it's a little too much on the sexual side, it's not very family oriented. So when you sit down and you're like, can I really sit down with my father and watch this in peace? <laughs> and I am comfortable. And I am comfortable. And you're like, okay. exactly. it's yeah. running. Not, yeah. not really to be a prude in Tioba, because some people say, I truly want to work with But in my mind, I'm always like, I, I don't know. If it doesn't sit well with me spiritually, then it's, it's not worth it. Whether no, I understand. I, I, I really do understand. Yeah. And, it, and it takes a lot of uh, values yeah. for you to be able to turn down a job because, oh, it's because you, you have so many jobs. No, it's not that. It, it's God. <laughs> Maybe I, it's I just want to make him. I don't, no, I, I do, yeah, but sometimes you go like, when I, am I love you so much. Yeah. I respect everything. Yeah. But I need to make this money. Uh, can, can I tell you again? Please. It's not it as a guy. Like you can never say I have enough. Eh? Like I, I and it's don't never think enough. Exactly. By the, the more you get, the more you want. Yeah. And some projects are bigger than money. There are the opportunities that are going to open up your entire world, maybe. But when you see the price you're going to pay for this so-called opportunity, mm. right? a God, may you bring it again in a better way, because this doesn't sit well with me. Oh. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Daf. Mm. You have turned down mm. jobs before, like for writing mm. and for also acting. Have you also been rejected at an audition and you felt like you did an audition, you did well, mm. but then they say no because, mm. because, uh, mm. because a, a more celebrity, someone who's more of a celebrity than you are, turned up and then they thought they needed to take an ag instead of you? Um, very few times, maybe once or twice, but I guess it has happened before. Um, my attitude towards auditions is <coughs> you don't have the job till you have the job. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't enter feeling like I have it. I have it. No. Me, I enter feeling like it can be me. What yeah. do you think? You know? So if I don't get it, I move on. I, I don't like hanging on to auditions. I'm like, hey, to be honest, when I look at it from a producer's perspective, People with a bigger following mean better for a project. Mm. Because if I have 200 followers on my Facebook, or in 5,000, they are going to type one little thing, and my show is going to be propelled immensely. A lot of people are going to know about my show because of this person with their stardom, as we call it, mm. CGV. I think we just have to get over it at, at some at some point. Yeah, now that you've mm. just talked about that, mm. there's something that's been going on about people using yeah. um, faces, <coughs> mm. not necessarily because they can act, but mm. because of the following. Mm. So as in, uh, it has become uh, some, something like of a commercial kind of yeah. thing. Like, yeah. uh, do you think this has affected the, the 
the, 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 the products that we come out, that we bring out at, at the end of the day, mm. because we have not looked at the talent, we have looked at the, at the, the following. Money, at the business value. The, uh -huh, mm. the commercial bit of it. Of course, it does. Um, it's, to me, it's a yes and a no. From, as, a, as a producer, I just want people to buy my movie or to find a way to watch it, mm. yeah? Mm. And if this person, in as much as their acting is not that great, but uh, only that it waters down the quality of the acting that we are exporting to the rest of the world. But the, my advice would be for any actors who feel shadowed mm. by these so-called big stars, mm -hmm. my friend, work on your talent. Let me tell you, um, there are some people who you may not be as big, but you have the quality of acting. Please explain. When a person is good, Good is good. Good is good. Good is good. Whether it has a label, whether it doesn't, if you're good, you're good. So trust that it may not work out once in a while, but keep 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 doing your best. Keep keep at it, knowing that no, me, I know I'm an actor and I'm really good at what I'm doing, and eventually the right people will see it and you know and accommodate my talent. You don't have to worry so much, and, and you don't know the targets of some of the people who have this big project. Mm. There are many, many targets. So don't worry if, if you have not fitted in their little box, you will fit in another box. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Duff, mm. as an actor, <coughs> have, mm. you, have you experienced, okay, there's something that's been going on around. Okay. I don't even want to, yeah. I don't know how to put it, but yeah. uh, about uh, producers, lady yeah. producers, yeah. Um, exploiting yeah. young men and vice versa i have heard about that so what yes. has it mm. has it happened to you no but it has happened Not to someone that. maybe you know you've heard about it so oh, I, I have had stories you know our film industry is so small it is <laughs> if you're they keep saying something. it's young it's young it's <laughs> growing it's growing it's not young anymore it's growing <laughs> it is yeah. growing so uh, what can we do to avoid <coughs> such because it taints mm. our industry name mm. our name in the in the in the in the communities that yeah. we, we are trying to 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 yeah. sell our work to yeah so what do you think we can do about such behaviors because now being a producer, mm. um, I don't know, yeah. but how would you advise your fellow producers and also yeah. the people that have fallen victims? Yeah. Um, if, I think it begins with us. Um, you as a producer or as an actor, you have to be as professional as possible. When it's work, let it be work. Um, I think that's on the producer's side, especially. Yes. Be as professional and as. But empathetic I'm not. I am as not. Possible. As in, I am not. You, you, I am not professional. Going to win, you have to but. Well, you're going to tell me about being professional, and I don't even know what being auntie, professional is. I understand now. If you're the actor. Not only do you have to be professional, you have to put very strong boundaries. And I think um, people have to be educated on every set. You see how you enter a room and they tell you, if you want to use uh, the, the extra accommodation, please pass here. I think it's very important that on every set people are shown who to talk to. If you want to talk about money, mm. this is where you go. If you want to talk about this, this is where you go. So that sometimes even maybe it will reduce the amount of um, that interface that we have with those funny, funny people mm. who believe they can just take advantage of any child that has just walked in and they are dying to be a star. And also for the actors to remember that it's just one project, there will be thousands more. Don't lose yourself over one project. Um, it's a very hard thing to advise, but first of all, have some self-respect be professional and have respect for everyone in general yeah hey Daph, Banang, i can listen and listen <laughs> to you talk but it's because it has not happened yeah. and you have not been desperate Too enough to want mm. like to say i am ready and willing mm. to do whatever it is mm. but oh. is it worth it but you see again I, I feel like our industry is just experiencing what all other industries have because even the people who just go to office every day or mm. work wherever, wherever, they have had those scandals within their offices. 
and they are told the same thing know your rights report the person you know like and and also to the bosses they tell them please be professional allow the children to grow don't encroach i know like, <laughs> <laughs> you know be be as professional as you can be at, at the end of the day it will have to be you to stand up for yourself and to stop the matter um i've had uh, young girls walk off my set because some people were being a bit strange and they made up their minds and they're like this is not worth the money or whatever whatever and they just left and no amount of talking i could do could get them back at some point i was hurt because i'm the one who had looked for the actors mm. but i respected them and i said hey Mm. Okay, mm. we are going to go for a short break and when we come back, Daphne is going to tell us more about what did she do to these producers or whoever it was that <laughs> was trying to harass these young girls. We'll be right back, don't go anywhere and we are still on the movie menu on Rest TV. Darling, we must meet today, it's very urgent. Eh? I'm at the room waiting for you. How many times have I asked you not to call when I'm home? It is Linda who took the call. What was the urgency? Honey, I'm pregnant. Can you believe it? I'm pregnant. Oh my God. What is it? We're having a baby. Are you serious? How could you be so careless? I'm running for MP election. I can't afford a scandal. That's your problem. Look, me, I'm having a baby. What do you think was going to come out of all those nights and days, huh? A plasma screen? You sound so ridiculous. How am I supposed to hide you like you're some piece of gold or something? Look, I'm not telling you to fly me out of the country. That's not what I want. Then what do you want me to do? Take me to your home. Ha, ha. My home is for my family. But look, I, I thought that since I'm growing a churunda in my belly, that clearly makes me part of the family, right? You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. See how this place is looking. All messed up, nothing is organized the right way. Just look at the dust in... Oh my God. Ugh. Okay, can we please get down to some real work for the first time in your lives? Darling, get to sweeping. The carpet, whatever, get to sweeping. You, you who is moving, can you please open the windows so we can have some air circulation going on, okay? A, a jar of water, I'm really parched. I need maybe two glasses with ice, thanks. Can I have the bathroom clean? I don't want to even check and see what's there. Sparkling, honey. What's going on? She's working. What are you three doing? I say the bathroom. I said I need towels. Oh my God. Did I forget those? Can I have, please have fresh towels in the bathroom? Uh, and please, the best bed sheets you can find and only white, eh? and we change them on a daily. Thank you. Girls, chop, chop, move. What's going on here? Anai, which village did they get these ones from? A man will easily forget that he's having a child, but a woman can't. I thought I told you that I gave up coffee and tea, and now alcohol, you know, for my baby. I mean, our baby. And then now, what are we going to do? Honestly, I'm so desperate right now. Like, I just want to be pregnant, even if it's with a cow or a dog, as long as I'm pregnant. Uh-huh. No, I don't think we have any choice at the moment. Yeah, we just have to get a female doctor and pay them to lie and tell them that I am pregnant. What should I get? Uh-huh. No. No, honey. I'm so worried about my figure right now, but who cares, right? <laughs> when the baby gets here, to be all joy, right? <laughs> Hi, Linda. Want to join us? <laughs> it's so good. Hmm? <laughs> You're in my seat. In my house, eating my food. With my husband. <laughs> Listen to me, Pesh. No! My child is not a problem, okay? My child is a miracle and I won't let you harm it. It's Pesh. a sin, for God's sake! Pesh, try to understand. No, you try to understand me. This is a miracle to me. It may mean absolutely nothing to you, but it means everything to me. And if you try to get in the way of my miracle, I am going to go to all the media houses and I'll tell them that Miss Chirunda and his wife are trying to kill my baby. And then we'll see where your political career will be after that. Liar! You lie about being a mother. You lie about carrying my child. Francis. What type of monster are you? <laughs> okay, okay. Look, Francis, I was just, I was just helpless. Okay, okay, fine. I was just helpless. Helpless. Yes. 
Look, I was, I was helplessly and, and hopelessly in love with you. Look, and that's why I resorted to doing these belittling things. But it was mostly because I just love you. Because, because I just want to be. Do you expect me to believe you after all that? No. To believe all that lies after all this? Francis, please. Don't. <laughs> Francis. Just, what, what are you doing? Honey, please stop. You love me, right? And, and we promised to love each other forever. Security? <laughs> no. Yes, I need security in my room. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look, we can talk about this. Like, there's... Get out. No. Get out please, of my life. Please. I don't need this type of drama in my life. Get out! Please, please, just calm down. I mean, how about the baby? Like, what baby? Remember, you're not pregnant. Yeah, but... Security! <laughs> Security! What just happened? Get out. Honey, please. Get out. Honey, please. Get her out and make sure she does not step in this compass ever again. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back from that short break. I'm still here with Daphne Ampire, Rubara Mira. <laughs> Oh, good. Businesswoman, award winner, <laughs> actor, actress, producer. But she's still with us. And she, before she, we went for the break, she was like, Daphne was like, I tell you, I had this, I had some girls walk off my set. We want to know exactly what happened. Mm. And after they left, what mm. did you do as a producer? Because I'm thinking you're a producer then. Yeah. So what um, did you do? I, I walked to those particular individuals mm. and we had a conversation. Um, it's good to confront people without fear. <laughs> um, and, and I told them, as you can see, I need the most, mo this script is full of women. Mm. So if, we, if you're going to be treating women like this who come on this set, how many are we going to chase? And we had a very frank conversation and they ended up leaving. Mm. And we had to get someone else to come, you know, be on our set and life continued peacefully. Yeah, but I'm thinking mm. you had, you, you, you really had gone through a lot mm. finding Yes, this, the girls, this, yes. Yeah, these, these, these yes. characters. Yes. And you know, it's so funny because I am thinking when you guys are writing, mm. I don't know if you've written your personal stories, as mm. in if you've not, not writing for other mm. people, mm. but I'm thinking when someone is actually writing, they have mm. a particular person yeah. in mind. Yes, you do. So they had Aggie in mind. Mm. You've been looking around and Aggie for some reason was in Barra someplace mm. there, but she mm. happened to come around and then, <laughs> and then you came across her and you're mm. like, thank God, mm. she fits the whole, you know? Yeah. And then this this DOP or I don't know director whoever yeah. it is yeah. tries to mess up this whole mm. hard work that mm. you put in and then Aggie walks off set. What exactly do you do? As a, for real, for real, Gaddaf told 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 mm. How would you react to that? Uh, it has happened before. So the first thing I did was was call the girl mm. and I, I asked her, please be truthful with me. Why have you left? Did we treat you badly? Did did someone not give you your transport? Mm. You know what happened? Did you miss lunch? You know, because I, I thought it was something related to that, and she opened up. And she told and me. she told me, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be working. No, 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 no. This one is telling me this. If I, if I don't do this, these are the consequences. I said, what? I said, okay, can I give you a call tomorrow? Because it was late in the night. And what I did, I went, I confronted that person. And I told them, you have two choices. You can either walk off or walk off. Like to Yambe. Mm. And they, they, they got very angry and defensive and they said, I don't need this. Uh, and walked off? And they walked off. And, uh, and the, on, then later they came back and they said, Okay, me, I'll be working with the editors mostly since you people think that. And we, we found consensus because the, the boss was a very big lady somewhere. So mm. we didn't want to involve her in those small issues. We tried to handle them quietly. Because it would be very embarrassing for And you. that's what, what, what <coughs> is so, like, it's so bad that yeah. it has, it has, I don't know how to put yeah. it, but honestly speaking. It breaks I'd, the spirit. It does. Your, your and, and, and I have to applaud that young girl. Yeah. As in for her to know that, no, mm. this is not what I signed yeah. up for. Yeah. I cannot take they this. They promise them a lot and they don't deliver most of the they time. Don't, they, never. they never. All they, all they mm. do is they are going to give you exposure. They are going to yeah. make you a star. What exposure? Just be on, just count the number of movies you will make. That's enough exposure for you. You don't need anyone to put you anywhere. 
all you need is to be on time, do your role, go for the next audition, get that role, do it too. Go for the next audition, get that role, do it too. Slowly by slowly, you will grow your own CV at your own terms, without someone adding fire for you and spoiling your entire And you know future. the bad thing is, um, mm. uh, people don't believe these girls. They should. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good that you were on mm. and you, you took it like you took it mm. upon yourself and mm. you decided let me call this girl, mm. let me find out exactly what happened mm. and she was open enough to let you know. But yeah. some people just don't yeah. follow up yeah. and, and it's so bad. No, it's, it's really bad. These girls are young. Um, people say, no, ah, you don't know those girls, you don't know how they are. To be honest, whether or not, whether or not she's also sharp, you're old enough to know better. You shouldn't take advantage of her. How are you her. going to know better when you want to just take advantage of mm. her? Because she won't be able to ask or yeah. ask questions because she's so uh, passionate yeah. and she's she's willing yeah. to do anything. Yeah. And although what I've also noticed is that the girls are a bit brainwashed. Mm. They don't know any better. They think, if I don't do this, sijaku itawo, which is absolute rubbish. Um, the only thing a young girl needs to do in her career, building herself up, whether mm. you're a teacher mm. or an actress or whatever, d dress the part and do your work. That's it. Only do your actor's work. Don't add in fuel, many friendships, uh, you know, very absolutely oh, unnecessary dear. activities. <laughs> I know. So, uh, uh, Daphne. Mm. Mm. What do you wish directors understood better about actors? Actors are emotional. Actors, um, one time I was working as a directing act, as an acting director. Mm. In a way, you have to be as empathetic as possible. You have to come down to their level. It's like you're taking care of your child. Um, and to also understand that they have to be guided. So if someone puts their entire brain and understanding of a story in your hands, so don't misuse it. Mm. But they're also very powerful because they are the reason you believe everything you're looking at on the screen. Mm. Yeah, because, because I'm also thinking some directors are not patient. Yeah. Some directors do not want to understand yeah. because uh, I, I, I want you to direct me. Mm. I am willing to understand where you're coming from. Mm. But try to understand where I'm coming from. Because mm. I might not mm. do it in the first take. Yes. But what do you do yes. when I don't actually give mm. you what you expected on the first take? Mm. You see, and, and there are also different types of directors. There are directors who work with the cameras. And then there are directors who work with talent. Um, if if you're going to be like directing a film or whatever, you're doing both. Mm. I'm directing the crew and I'm also directing the talent. So you have to have exceeding levels of patience to manage both really well. Mm. You have to go out of your way to even, you know, imagine if a, a small insect is walking down an actor's arm or something, mm. Mm. they'll get out of character. But for you to yell and be like, eh, now you've made me lose my shot, time is moving. No, I, I was on a different, I was on mm. a set. Mm. The, the, the director kept on saying, I am using a 4K. And I'm like, what is a 4K? <laughs> <laughs> but he would, every time you do like, mm. guys, you know, like, like mm. you know, I think it happens to everyone, like mm. you're on set, mm. but then you're talking with your co actor you're yes. trying to put something right maybe you're trying to say do you yes. think i should say this, this? Mm -hmm. but in that come moment because mm -hmm. he is a little bit on the other side mm -hmm. he has no idea what you guys are talking about but he would shout from the other end go like guys i'm using a 4k <laughs> and I'm like, yes Ch change to a 5k <laughs> or something <laughs> as, in, as in some directors need yeah. to understand yeah. that uh these people want this as much as you mm. do. The fact that I signed up for this. Mm. And I don't want to just do, mm. because you do not want to use a, a pissed off yes. character. Yeah. She's not going to give you what you expect. Yeah. Because the, the body language. True. True. So you want to, to understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Try to understand. Eh, hey, Daf. Okay, so Daf is a you know. Like, but I want you to understand mm. that I have come mm. anyway. Mm. And if I don't just give it to you right away, mm. try to understand. Mm. Direct me. Like, you know, mm. you know it's so funny because they're going to ask you questions. They, they already know the answers. Mm. 
but they want you to to be part of this whole thing yeah like yeah. You, you and make them understand that you you understand what you're doing mm. and they are part of this you don't mm. anyway <laughs> but okay. you said it well yeah yeah Duff, you said it well. we've had issues with the audience of, of authenticity yes of our scripts mm. i was i was talking to some big director mm. and he was actually we're actually talking about the uff this mm. last uff mm. the covid uff mm. and there was it was his comments were like the stories were bogus <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that's the exact word he used but i'm not mentioning names anyway but <laughs> okay but he, he, he meant mm. it in that sense that mm. they, are, they are not good yeah so not you worth. yeah you mm. as a writer mm. what do you think has mm. caused this whole uh, mediocre kind of writing of um, the scripts yeah um first of all before i answer your question me i'd like to applaud everyone who is actually writing hey, well done yes. thank you thank you um as bogus as the stories are they bogus. are stories okay. <laughs> <laughs> i was quoting yes. <laughs> that they, they are still stories and we applaud everyone who is attempting to structure them to script mm. um in the beginning you had asked me what i don't like about screenwriting mm. and that's my answer is that we don't have enough knowledge on how to make powerful screenplays. Screen so uh, I feel like Bambi, that's their issue. It's, they just don't know any better. No one is out there teaching them, giving them a class. They are even afraid to go and look for these classes. So they can't compete very favorably with the films out there in the world. Cause, yeah, mm, but Duff. Mm. And the ones who are willing to write are probably not very gifted writers. <laughs> okay. But they're the ones who are willing to write. Oh. Yeah, because writing is also a patience. It, it takes time to write. You'd, you'd get bored writing. But, so I think maybe that is the issue. Yeah, but all of it can be solved, honestly. No, because, because this person was trying to say that of all the stories mm. that... Uh, people we are not writing mm. according to what you'd expect a Ugandan to write. Mm. It is Ugandan, it is not Ugandan, mm. it is in between there. Mm. You don't know where to place it exactly. Yeah, all that is direction that can be given to a writer. You see, you, when, what, what, whatever it is you're doing, you probably want to make a very good impression. And they're like, ha, huh, I saw in this Nigerian thing, ha, huh. they did this. Yes. So, mzekankula katogo kange. Ayagala kulagacha international, na inga chwandi senga, ye then nebigani dadala. So I think all those are small thoughts that can be pulled out of the writer in the writing classroom, and you're like, okay, but is that authentic enough? So I, I think he raised a good point. We need to be very authentic. The writing that probably came in that year wasn't as authentic, um, but I, me, I, me, I believe in our writers. We'll do better. Yeah, <laughs> nanga, I do, but nanga, we'll but nanga. Do nanga, I don't even know how to write. So, <laughs> but nanga, I'm quoting. I was quoting this mm. person because he was like, I wish mm. we can write better. Then mm. I'm like, now that I have a chance talking mm. to a writer, an mm. award winning screenwriter, <laughs> maybe she can actually help us understand. But because what has. That is true. What, mm. what, why, why are we at this level? Like you ah. said, maybe people are not, yeah, and people are, are not maybe skilled they, and not. Uh, when I, I saw some know. of those stories, they are leaning so much outside Uganda, they, they don't want to embrace who they are. Mm. Yet, if you simply embrace Uganda and Gabuedi, you can see the story. You can see the story. You can see the story. Daf, you can see you mm. find someone is trying to, to bring. Uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not using November tier, mm. but someone is trying to. Uh, to say to talk about mm. Batoro, for example, mm. what do you what do you want? What mm. when you when you talk of Mtoro, mm. what comes into your mind? <laughs> Awori, uh -huh. Adieri, yes, and when you talk about a, 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 a northerner, mm. you know what they how they dress up. Yes. But then someone is trying to confuse you as yes. me, the person watching. Yes. I'm I'm getting confused. I'm like. Yes. What exactly is he trying to say? Yeah. You're talking about, you're saying this person is an, an Okello mm. who we expect to be coming from that side mm. and with that accent. Mm. And, but Okello is speaking the American mm. English. Exactly. Those are all inconsistencies. Now, if they have editors mm. who know what they're doing, the editor will be like, why is Masaba speaking like this? 
be like, don't you know Masava should at least be doing this and you know, like they'll 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 straighten out those inconsistencies. And even sometimes like I read a script and I didn't understand any of the names. They want Ugandan. It is something like uh, Ruba, Cora. And mm. I was like, What's happening? <laughs> and they're like, I'm trying to be, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be and I'm like, don't be <laughs> like come back. Because if, if you're writing it for a Ugandan audience, they want names they can relate to. True. Wandi ka naka, wandi ka agi, ngabe tuliogela wano. They want to be cool. Eh? So those, those are very simple things that can simply be ironed out with the conversation. And you explain what your audience likes and what... Because sometimes the writers write, nga they're completely oblivious to what an audience would want. Omanyo kuwandi kila audience jota manyi na kumanyo. Now, if you know that most of the people who watch my show are, are women, you'd be like, hey, women like love, they like tenderness, they probably like some music, I'll make it light. Hmm? Then, no one will into the woman, you're probably the only one who can enjoy it. So writers need all those little things added onto them with time. Do you think mm. it's because uh, we are not proud enough Part of our culture, because, for example, mm. I was even I was actually even yesterday I was looking mm. watching something and they they are trying to mm. to dress up like their cultures. One came in a gomesi, then came mm. in a kanz. Mm. So they are talking. They are like, why can't we be like Indians? Mm. Indians from the word go. Mm. You will tell by looking at them before mm. they say anything. Mm. You know that now this one is an Indian. Mm. Why can't we be like that? But we are you you're writing mm. you're writing a story about. I, I don't know, some mm. story, but uh, mm -hmm. originating from some place in the village. Why do you have to make me look like I am, we are... I'm Nigerian. Yes. Mm. And yet, then, yet I'm here in Kabari. Yes, and then, mm. and then you find movies where you find them dressed like what we watch in the Nigerian yes. movies. What, what can yeah. we do? Because I already asked mm. you that mm. it is happening. So mm. what can we do to stop something like that? <sighs> it, 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 it comes down to, I guess, the people filming mm. and, and it, what sometimes they change because of what becomes popular. Mm. Like, let's it's say, yeah, like, let's say Mulindwa will win because she wrote a beautiful, authentic Chiganda film. And they go, hey, then uh, you can find that the first person who did that kind of genre was successfully did it and did it well, but mm. I imagine from Co time me, to that's time. for sure. Yeah, te tu, te tu mm. original. yeah, so I would challenge them simply sit down with yourself and say, what, what story am I telling? Uh, film is not a, a matter of showing off and da da da. You need to tell some story. What substance? What's the substance of the story you're telling? Is this story actually important for people to know? That's what causes. Do you think to the people relate to yeah, it? Yeah, will, will they relate? Who are you targeting? Exactly. By the way, when we are writing all these things mm. that are mm. on the market right now, who are we targeting? Exactly. If you're targeting nti njagara bulimuntu wa Kampala ne Eastern Northern Balabe, you have to write things that are relatable to them. Not relatable on Tibagala Kutukayo, but relatable on Ti. Oh, Yomola Muitako every day and Yenda Kuluzi. It has to be something that they have seen before, know before, so they can laugh along with your jokes and they can understand your dialogue much easier. People yeah. actually feel like running away from home is the solution, but the stories are here. All the stories we want are all here. So, uh, Daph, did you like mm. go to a, a film school to learn how to write? How did you start up writing? Was it how did you know that I was actually a, a, a script writer? Um, I, I, I did some two chapters of Maisha Film School when, uh, when Maisha Film School was still a thing. Um, mm. Years in the early 2000s, uh, there was a, uh, an NGO called uh, Maisha Film School. So mm. they would go and they teach you writing and acting and all those nice things. And so I did a little bit of that, um, but I had constant practice in writing uh, all through my university. Um, honestly, I learned most of these things on job when I started working on the hostel, but I, I haven't had any thorough formal education via the writing or the acting, but consistent making mistakes and starting again and, and not giving up. And, yeah, exactly. And not giving so, up. So uh, how, uh, mm. how would you advise someone so young mm. but passionate about writing? Mm. 
what, what do you think they should do? How, what would mm. be your advice for this? Um, yeah, I think if, if, if you're going to get a degree and you're really passionate, go to film school. Go to film school, pour your heart in there, learn everything. Yeah, yeah. but I'm thinking we don't mm. have, what is the word? Mm. We don't have, we have Kampala Film School, mm. yes. Mm. But we also uh, have Makere University and they're teaching film as well. Oh. Yes. Yeah, but, but mm. I am thinking, can you come as, an, as someone who just, you just enroll in that area alone without Absolutely. having... Um, what do you mean, you know, like as in, in only what, like, like screenwriting, yeah, no, no like, like the acting bit of it, like mm. the drama, the dance and drama bit of, of it. Course, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, of course at university, right now the level at which they are at, because they don't have so many people going there, mm. they mm. haven't specialized. You kind of do everything, then at the end, mm. you pick one. I think like in your third year, you pick one that you want to really specialize in. Yeah, but I would still advise them to please go and get the knowledge. Maybe I would just tell us as we go. Knowledge in the Knowledge that you have to do I am here. So what's, mm. what's the way forward? What should I do? Um, you know, when you're not in the market, <laughs> <laughs> You can tell people, I don't know how someone on the outside is looking, but if you're, if you're done with your knowledge, always attach yourself somewhere, somehow, go. Projects are always opening up. People are trying to do this and this. Don't give up. We 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 a project. You think things that come easy like that. <laughs> because no, okay. I've mm. been talking to people like, for example, mm. I was talking to Michael Wawuyo Jr. Mm. and I was asking him, so uh, mm. how can one mm. uh, get to some level of mm. you know being? Of course, not like you because go, you have already paid the price, <laughs> but Michael. get to a point where you feel like. Okay, mm. I have studied acting. I am very passionate. I love acting. Mm. But I'm here. I don't see the job. So mm. what do I do? Where mm. do I go? Who do I talk to? Because mm. some of people are <coughs> not easily approachable. <laughs> <laughs> but then they would go like, no, record yourself. Mm. Record yourself. Mm. Uh, make monologues. Mm. Post them. Mm. Upload them. Mm. And I'm like, eh, mm. You see, all these things, they sound silly. But everyone is discovered in their own way. Now, like, uh, and you don't know how. You never know how you'll be discovered. So be busy doing something. Don't just sit on yourself and say, "Zebinemye, eminem sijiraba." You need them more than they need you. So if it first and foremost, they don't even know you. Exactly. So you have to like yeah, sell if it, yourself out there. If it takes there. you recording yourself, great. If it takes you t going to those parties that those actors are Sorry. at, mm. great. There are some acting agencies that you'll get to know. There's always someone with some bit of information to help you out. Eh? And if chance gets you and you meet one of these prominent ones, ask them, and I, well, yeah, Kali, yo, you know, I can be of service. Can I, can I provide my acting service here, there, whatever? Such that you always... And then that's when you land on that other person exactly. we talked about already. Exactly. That other unprofessional director or producer and cut cut and you have a woman she was so cola oh you know movie and go gamba okay but you see it's they make noise about the unprofessional ones but i feel like we forget the very professional ones that are also there actually most sets are very peaceful places to work no one is going to bother you everybody understands you just everybody. do your work exactly most sets are really that good it's just these few, few, few that you find. Ah, no, no, But don't give up because that's not how the, the entire industry. Okay, is. there's there's a script writer mm. at home mm. in this lockdown. Mm. They haven't had a chance mm. to write a script like mm. you have, mm. uh, or even be approached. Mm. You know, like it's different for you to be home waiting mm. because we are all waiting for these two weeks. Mm. We are praying and you're like, I hope <laughs> you mm. so that we all go back to, yes. you know, to mm. trying to, to live hustle. normal. Mm. Much as this is a new normal, I need to, to hustling. Mm. But then this person is actually good. Mm. They know they think they are good. Mm. So how would you advise them? Because it is really hard. Mm. I am in, I am in the lockdown. I'm at home. Mm. And I, I, I don't know. What would yeah. you suggest yeah. I do while I wait for the two weeks or the mm. three weeks coming? I don't know. 
You see, you're only as good as your last script. What do you have to offer? If you're a screenwriter, like really, mm -hmm. show me what you're writing. Show me what you've written. Let me be able to read it. Then I'll be able to point you in the right direction. But if you're saying, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a screenwriter, I'm a screenwriter, I'm a script name to your name, mm. then, my dear, you're not yet serious. We are almost coming to the end of the show, but before <laughs> I go, I want to ask you, Daph, who do you look up to? Oh, I looked up to so many people. Okay, I want mm. you to tell me those three mm. people as an actor that you'd want to appear in the same. It doesn't matter, they can mm. be, it can be Aggie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it can also be someone from mm. Hollywood or Bollywood or Nollywood. It doesn't matter who. Mm. Three people. Um, I, okay, maybe as a writer, I would love to meet Shonda Rhimes. Okay. I think she's crazy, <laughs> but her writing is impeccable. Mm. I would also love to meet um, a, a lady called, she acted as Olivia Pope. Oh Lord, uh, who Kelly. have I forgotten? Kelly, Kelly Washington. Kelly Washington. Okay. Um, I, I, theatre actors are the best. Um, and maybe just for sillies, I would, I would love to meet someone like Julia Roberts and just talk to them about because those are, are like the golden people who mm. all began with the acting and so easy and so, so that flawless. that that's as a as a writer um as a writer no Shonda you Rimes. Shonda Rhimes yes as, as an act as an actress um Washington and and, and Julia. Julia Roberts mm. guys I can talk to Duff because <laughs> I lived with Duff for like months huh? <laughs> and would teeth the whole time she's so peaceful she's so She's what you just saw anyway. So guys, uh, what can I say? Thank you so much for watching. I cannot go without thanking my camera people. Sarah, you're amazing. Boston Isaac, thank you so much. Um, the, the editing suit guys, but guys, we have so many other shows that air on REST TV. And like I always say, REST TV is about entertaining. And movie man, you're young, I tell you. <laughs> We entertain you, we educate you, we inform you with everything, with all the information that you need. For example, today we're talking to a writer and an actor as well. I'm sure you learned a thing or two about what you should do, what you can do. Even when you're home in the lockdown waiting for your next gig, you don't know when it's coming, be writing something. And uh, I want to thank God mostly for our CEO, Pastor Isaac Chovich Wewes, for making this simple and easy and possible for us to be here without that... Hmm, without receiving but we thank God all in all and we give him all the glory because he deserves it he's been merciful and faithful he is a good God thank you so much keep watching rest TV and movie manual airs every Saturday at 5 you do not want to miss any of the episodes stay tuned I love you and God bless you bye